I'm here to help you understand something truly fascinating, the circulatory system. But don't worry, we'll make it super easy for you to grasp. So let's jump right in. Brief explanation of the circulatory system and its importance. Now, have you ever wondered how our bodies transport all the important stuff, like oxygen and nutrients, to different parts? Well, that's where the circulatory system comes into play. It's like a super highway within our bodies, carrying essential things to where they're needed the most. It's a vital system that keeps us healthy and alive. What is the circulatory system? The circulatory system is an incredible network of organs and vessels that work together to transport essential substances throughout our bodies. It's like a transportation system that ensures all parts of our body receive what they need to function properly. Explanation of the main components. Heart, the pump that keeps blood flowing. At the center of our circulatory system is the heart. Think of it as a powerful pump that never takes a break. This muscular organ is located in your chest, slightly tilted to the left. It's about the size of your fist and beats around 100,000 times every single day. Its main job is to pump blood throughout your body, delivering oxygen and nutrients to all the different parts. Blood vessels, tubes that carry blood throughout the body. Now imagine your body is a big city and the blood vessels are the roads that connect all the buildings together. These blood vessels come in three different types, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries are like highways, carrying oxygen-rich blood away from the heart to all the different parts of your body. Veins bring oxygen-poor blood back to the heart, just like streets that lead back to the city center. And capillaries are like tiny side streets that connect arteries and veins, allowing for the exchange of oxygen, nutrients, and waste products. Blood the vital fluid that carries nutrients and oxygen. The third important component of the circulatory system is blood. Blood is a special fluid that flows through your blood vessels. It's made up of different parts, including red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Red blood cells are like little oxygen carriers, delivering oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. White blood cells are the defenders of your body, fighting off any harmful germs or invaders. Platelets help your blood clot and stop bleeding when you get a cut. And plasma is the liquid part of your blood, carrying nutrients, hormones, and waste products. Description of the heart structure. Chambers, atria and ventricles. The heart is divided into four chambers, two on the top and two on the bottom. The top chambers are called atria, and the bottom chambers are called ventricles. Think of the atria as waiting rooms where blood first arrives. When the atria are full, they squeeze the blood down into the ventricles. Then, when the ventricles contract, they pump the blood out of the heart and into the blood vessels. Valves, ensuring one-way blood flow. To make sure that the blood flows in the right direction, the heart has special valves. These valves act like doors, opening and closing as the blood moves through. They allow blood to flow forward but prevent it from flowing backward. It's a clever system that ensures the blood keeps moving in the right direction. Simplified explanation of the heart's function. Receiving oxygen-poor blood from the body. One of the heart's important jobs is to receive oxygen-poor blood that has been used up by your body's cells. This blood is carried back to the heart through the veins. The heart then fills up with this oxygen-poor blood ready for the next step. Pumping oxygen-rich blood to the body. When the heart contracts, the ventricles squeeze tightly, pushing the oxygen-poor blood out of the heart and into the lungs. In the lungs, the blood gets fresh oxygen and becomes oxygen-rich. After that, the heart receives this oxygen-rich blood back from the lungs, and with another squeeze, it pumps it out to the rest of your body through the arteries. This oxygen-rich blood delivers nutrients and oxygen to your organs, muscles, and every little cell in your body, keeping them healthy and energized. Low-level oxygen blood entering the heart. Our journey begins with oxygen. Poor blood returning to the heart through the veins. This blood has already delivered oxygen and nutrients to the body's cells and is ready for a refill the heart pumping oxygen-rich blood to the body. Now, 
it's time for the heart to do its magic. With a powerful contraction, the heart pumps the oxygen-rich blood out through the arteries. This blood travels through the arteries, branching out like a vast network of roads reaching every part of your body. Oxygen-poor blood returning to the heart. After the oxygen-rich blood has delivered its precious cargo, it becomes oxygen-poor. The veins collect this oxygen-poor blood from all parts of your body and bring it back to the heart. It's like a return journey, bringing the used-up blood back to the heart for renewal, the heart pumping oxygen-rich blood to the lungs for oxygenation. Now the heart prepares for another round. It pumps the oxygen-rich blood to the lungs, where it will receive a fresh supply of oxygen. In the lungs, the blood exchanges carbon dioxide, a waste product, for oxygen, which it eagerly absorbs. Oxygen-rich blood returning to the heart and being pumped to the body again. With its newly acquired oxygen, the blood returns to the heart, ready for another journey through the body. The heart contracts once more, pumping the oxygen-rich blood back out to the arteries. And the cycle continues, ensuring that every part of your body receives the oxygen and nutrients it needs. In conclusion, the circulatory system is a dynamic and interconnected system that ensures the continuous supply of oxygen, nutrients, and waste removal throughout our bodies. Through this system, our body's cells receive the necessary resources to function optimally.